No, he's just he was just locating with three different pitches. Um, he was moving the ball in and out. Uh, he was throwing strikes. His his pace was great, and that's you know that's who he is. That's what he, that's what he can be, and he did that last start too. So to see him carried over into this one's awesome, and that was just a big win for us. So you said in the past that not only making a play like that is a boost for your guys, but it's a backbreaker for the other team. Could you feel like a momentum swing there? I don't know, man. You know we're, we're really focused on what we got to do in our dugout. Uh, we're definitely not looking over there. We're just playing our game, and we know we can do on all sides of the ball. So. Um, you know, I, that definitely is something that you think about maybe after the fact, but, you know, in the heat of competition, you really just focus on your own guys and, uh, and what we got going on in the dugout. How much of that play is first step, that, that jump, making, making the right read and getting the jump on it? Yeah, I mean, you know, same thing with stealing bases, making, you know, catching the ball out there. Everything is kind of established on the first step. So once you make a, a good step, you know, you're going to steal that bag. Um, and if you have a good step, good read, you're, you know, you're probably going to catch it. So. What does that say about Dakota who battled through that first inning and then sort of locked it down from there? Yeah, it's resiliency, and that's why he's in the position that he is. He's a starting pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals, and there's a weight to that. Um, he's also got a really good role model in, in Adam Wainwright, who I know is always talking to him um, during his start, after his start, you know, while it's going on. So, you know, when you have that type of support, um, you know, you definitely set yourself up for success.